right there. <laughs> he said he gonna wear his dump to his death before he go up there. You bitch. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. You're my lovely white Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't See the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today we are going green for a new season of TMNT 2012 Reaction. Mm. Last time we left off, man, the writers really took it there. They pushed the envelope entirely and went to like places that I didn't suspect them to especially when it comes to a kid's show. And that is killing a specific character who's very integral to the Turtles, man. Um, Shredder, you know, he pretty much plucked my boy, Splinter. You know Shit, saying? the whole planet got plucked. What do you mean? <laughs> Everybody I mean, got plucked. The, the planet got pulled into something, you know what I'm saying? That plucked? Ain't, that ain't nothing. We've seen retcons or we've seen stuff get restored before. It's like, okay, I thought it was going to blow up, but it just got sucked into like a wormhole or something. So there's a possibility that they can come back like on some fucking General Zai from Man of Steel shit. You know, I don't count that. We saw Splinter get gutted because Shredder's pride was just too big. And I ain't gonna lie, man, as silly as this show is, I did not suspect to do that, you know, because like that almost brought me to tears, man. I'm like, don't do that. Do not do that. Like Splinter ain't never did nothing to nobody. He's just like to chill. He's still trying to build his family back up, you know, trying to get his daughter back. But no, Shredder, stupid ass, looking like barbecue Tyrone, had to skewer my man. So uh yeah. That's why I that's how I know it's like Shredder gotta be a black dude, man, because only niggas do some shit like that. It's like be worrying about all the wrong things, but here you go, fucking up shit when the world's at stake. Just because you want to be that dude. No, so, I think he's Japanese. But he got a nigga doing his voice. That's how you know. That's why it's like fitting for it. Well, I ain't never met a man named, uh, whatever his name is. A black man. I ain't never met nobody named that shit. I mean, they got uh, some other dudes named Oroku. Oroku Saki. Right. I ain't never met no black dude or white dude or nobody else named Oroku Saki. Oroku Saki too. I'm also the Japanese. Um, anyway, I was not shocked by his death. I already knew it was going to happen. Right. I didn't know when. I just knew it was coming. I knew it was coming this whole season uh, series. I just didn't know. Like my brother used to watch the show when we were younger. And uh, I remember him being upset that Splinter had gotten, you know, passed it away. So I was like, eh, when is it going to happen? I thought that time when he was running around New York City with a diaper on it, that's when he was finna get dead. But no, I, I didn't know. Who was running around New York? Oh, it's about Splinter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he lost his mind. I thought that's what, when he was going to pass away. But no, he passed away. I knew it was going to happen because Shredder is the embodiment of a bitter... A hater, man. A bitter dude. Like, he just won't let it go. A woman that didn't want you 16 years ago, bro. Let that crap go she has been dead right for almost two decades now man there is no reason anyway yeah um but the turtle bros somehow escaped uh thanks largely in part to some weird alien or robot weird eve robot you know y'all just gonna some... let me sit up here with lipstick on my teeth i mean you knew that was gonna happen y'all been letting me sit up here with lipstick on my teeth like this that's how you do all y'all are fired this that strong lipstick. It is. But anyways, guys, we are starting off with season four with episode one, which is going to be titled. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. Subscribe to the Patreon to help me to stop putting lipstick on my teeth. Please do. What? Mm, Side step <laughs> with it. Right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Destroy the whole area. <laughs> oh, I forget right. how tall Ninja I am. Toid or whatever your name is, what just happened? This has got to be some kind of sick joke, right? Why are you shaking right. him? He didn't do it. Get him. First things first, I'm on a job. That's not good enough. Where are you taking us? Bitch, be glad he saved you. Time. Hold on to something. Like, is this what the inside of a PlayStation 6 looks like? Let me see what they talk about. I'm about to say. There's a turtle. Thank you. 
Indian triceratons have invaded Earth. <laughs> they brought with them the invincible black hole. As soon as you actually start to sing along. Future Turtles, Teenage Ninja Future Turtles. <laughs> See, I wonder if they really try to say niggas, like when they say niggas through. Do anything to take get they ninjas through, really? I know it doesn't. I think we all know what he he what he wanted to say. <laughs> really, they need to pose on an asteroid. The fuck? So they're reversing it. Ooh. Everyone's back? Including Master Splinter? Yes, Leonardo, but only for six months. The Triceratons are spending this time searching the universe for the three fragments of the black hole weapon. Many years ago, the Triceratons broke the machine into three pieces, hiding each fragment in the safest parts of the galaxy they could find. You got that Cybertronian user interface. We must find them before the Triceratons find the fragments and reassemble them. Who are you anyway? He might be a fan My too. Professor Zayton Honeycutt. I'm a friend to the Utrons. Dude, I wish I was a robot. What in the days of Future's ass? What if we had robot brains? Beeble bubble beeble. Yes, my boy. That makes perfect sense. Hold on to the white dude. Oh, shit. Wonderful. Could you assist me on damage assessment, my friends? I have plenty of spacesuits to wear. I ain't got asteroid detection. Apparently not. Amazing! This is like a full on. She got an Apple Watch. I got a new helmet. Dell Pump. Fucking intergalactic house shoes. <laughs> you knew, you knew he was gonna be eating that shit up. Mr. Crankshaw, set phasers to destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Oh, April. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Put that down for you poke your damn eye out. Uh, you guys are creeping me just out. as disproportionate as ever. This is nuts. Look at me, you're flying. They don't have no pants on. Oh, yeah! I was built for this. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna hurl again. I don't ever want to go back into that ship. I just want to float off into the stars. Okay. Okay. Hey, this is pants. I could easily fix the hull, but we lost too much hypercharged hydrogen. That's coupled with a tachyonic jump. It looks like we'll have to... There you go. Oh, no. Shit! Asteroid blasters, anyone? Asteroids! Language, Donnie! <laughs> Get your heads out of your asteroids, guys. Look out! Gotcha, Take a pod, any pod. Oh, dude, how about I drive? Yeah, that might be try. Hello. Fuck is that? Throw up? How could you read that? Play it like it's been, like made out of piss, like it has that as its. This is like some Star Wars city. This spaceport is not a part of the Federation, so do be careful. No problem, Butte. We're out like vanilla ice. <laughs> really? Why I look like a uh, Tatooine from Star Wars? That's what I said. 
Well, I didn't say that, but I said it was like a Star Wars yeah. I didn't know what its name was. Like the <laughs> desert planet. We'll be back at the ship in 20 minutes, cool? Bad idea. Food, food, food. I need food. Space travel makes me so hungry. Mm. Welcome, my friend. We have many delicacies from across the galaxy. Raw Marusian meat, olive you and donuts, okay. sweet and sour with fury soy. Oh, I'll take some of those for sui soy, whatever the hell that shit is. Take some of that too. Oh man, so hungry. Uh -uh. Oh, what's this? Looks normal enough. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a pick a what? Laser axe. Yeah. God damn, boy, we can't take y'all asses anywhere. Let me guess. That's a man. Right? Let me guess. First time you've been on the planet. It's a cat. Something's wrong. Is it that? Why she like Asuka from WWE? Who's this one? What's the deal here, Valentina? I thought you were lying, Trippie. This stupid bleep is bothering me, Chuko. Could you stomp him for me? Stomp him? Whoa, no, this is just a big misunderstanding. I was, uh, asking for directions? Yeah, dirty, could you guys- Man, I don't want you, girl, man. You like that. <laughs> Come on, y'all. They don't set the place on fire. It has to have to look and fly. That was bad. Rats. That was just wrong. But so, so- You better awesome. hope this is a self-employed robot. Hello. <laughs> That gem is on sale for only 900 Zemulax. Zemulax. Now that sounds like a lot of Zemulax. And uh, maybe the professor has some kind of space credit card or something? Ooh, I have to probe your ass, man. <laughs> How do y'all do this? Oh, hey guys, what up? I knew him splitting up wasn't going to be a good idea. So uh, nigga Mikey getting chased by Chrome from Real Monsters. Snap! Snap! There you Snap! Go. That shit probably feel good. Um, guys, we gotta move. Yeah, hey, y'all causing a disturbance. Oh, sorry. Let me know. Damn. Do not touch me, Sam Creature. I am Lord Brinigap Dreg, ruler of Planet Sectoid, lord of all insect life in the universe, and bringer of my deaths. Uh, could you hang on a second? I just got a phone call here from someone named I don't, don't give a, a damn. All <laughs> right. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't do a whole monologue about who you are. Bughead. Then you clearly have never heard of Lord Trey. Yeah. I say go, you freak! Good shit. Team combo. What is that? An explosive? Why did he do the jam? It's like an alien lower tab. My Moroccan star spice. That was worth five million simulax. You, you primitive buffoon. Three <laughs> battle mode. Hey. I sense we're gonna get our butts kicked in kind of a big way. Let's go. Oh. Oh no, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Uncle Mando would be proud. You stupid, arrogant creatures! How much Zimbalak like did those cost? Such I wanna see what are you finna do? <laughs> that? Okay! <laughs> you made a bit of Michael Jackson spin in midair. Looks like a squishy bug, but apparently he's not. He's like he's made up of different things. 
Probably got that uh, super tough cockroach uh, armor. You got nipple missiles? Oh, no, man. no, baby girl. Let it go, freak! Stupid he can hands. Those wow. are baby hands? Some kind of Terran? I'm human! Uh, on my planet, we squash bugs! Uh, like you! You kill insects! Oh, shit! Let me guess, every planet they go to, they're gonna have some new... Some new species that's like completely against humans. And wants to destroy the planet. It seems that way. I can already see this coming a mile away. Start the ship! Start the ship! What the hell have you been doing? Right, my company you kicked off. Of another intelligent versus in the entire universe. It only took ten minutes. Damn. Yeah. You know how much eggs cost on the market nowadays? It's gonna cost you your life. Basically. Wow. But they wish they had the Tetra gun right now. Press the buttons, Mikey. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep Nice. Ooh. Space staff. Right, I haven't seen what that shit does yet. Damn, my angles have improved. I swear, by the Elder Brawl, I will hunt these creatures down and eradicate them slowly. Feeding them to my children, peace by peace by peace! Bro, you need to work on your monologues. This shit is too long. Yes. The bin blaster on your ass. Yes. Okay, what did I say about group hugs? Why was this bang bros? I hope not. Boy, I got a lot. Oh shit, what is this? Space apples. <laughs> space apples in I was about to say shit. Space apples, oranges, and potatoes. Hell. For real, man. But the Turtle Bros, they gotta get it together, man. You just can't be going to right. like people's Everywhere planets. Everywhere they go, they be messing up. For real. It's like you already it's bad enough like when you go into a different state, you know, and you known for just touching on everything. But when you go into a different planet now, have some fucking decency. Have like a little bit of courtesy for people that you don't even know what you know, of like that. You ain't familiar with none of their ways, none of that shit. Nothing in it, Turtles, man. No, yeah, it's like you would think they would fit in this kind of setting because they're mutants, which people might think are aliens and stuff like that. But no, mm -hmm. they just as uncivilized in these alien areas, you know, with creatures that look crazier than them, but have more class than them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much Zabulax they didn't, they owe now. You know, they didn't built up a little record to where they gonna be on their ass. But overall, I would give this episode, um, I'll give it an A+. Plus. I give it an A+. Plus. Yeah, I'm liking this, man. We continue to change the scenery as soon as we start off a new season. We done went from mm -hmm. New York to the forest to a far out galaxy. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm liking what I see here. Anyways, we're going to keep it moving to episode two, which is going to be called The Moons of Thalos 3. So let's do this. Ooh, they got that camouflage. No Limit Soldiers. Oh, this Ooh. nigga. So this is his race. Uh, Mr. Rocka Rocka over here. Sluggish fools. Stay alert! The Salamandrians slip past you. Salamandrians. Captain Bozar, sir. The scanners are picking up an incoming ship. I know that vessel. It's the Fugitoid ship. Squadron 3, blast him out of the sky! Fugitoids. Those ships, they're Triceratops. No kidding. And there's like a gajillion of them. Professor, what do we do? We take evasive action. What do you 
waiting for it, Gunner Shark. Blast the future toy to pieces! <laughs> I think we're almost out This is what I fuck up. No, I don't think so. I recommend we take Bungie into the lethal pressure gravity by gas drive. Look at the both of me! Mean! Look out! Sexy! Mean what you doing? No! Mean! 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 So it's an ice planet. Oh, my head. Where are we? Whoa. Temperatures on this moon are negative 180 degrees Celsius. <sighs> right, it's all that's gonna freeze off. Even in this suit, aren't the turtles gonna freeze? No, their suits permeate a warm, invisible force field, like a second skin. Cozy, right? Really? Uh, I'm pretty sure my shell froze to my butt. <laughs> right. Oh. Wow. That thing is probably evil. Snow creature, yeah, aren't you? it's probably gonna start picking at their helmets. There's life on this planet, guys. Nonsense. This moon is made of methane ice. No life can survive here. Yes, you're really a metal. Watch it. About ten clicks away. You're really Looks like it's refined too. Excellent. Let's take it back to Wakanda. Donatello. We could use that metal to patch up the ship. Ah, there they are. The ones who rammed our vessel. Yes, and they're heading towards the mm -hmm. Okay. Rep, rep. Let's capture it before they do. Let us destroy the Is developers that? and take the Aurelium for ourselves. They robbed us of glorious battle. I see their courage. Oh, oh shit. Man, yes. They go on with his comrades. It's Keith David. No, you well, know that it is. not the sound It's like as soon as I mention something about Wakanda, we got the guy that do the voice of T'Challa, like the first voice of T'Challa. You're using up oxygen too fast, Mikey. What's more important, bro? <laughs> breathing or my art? Tell you, man. Guys, Reptar on Ice Part so Two. Right. right. We're Bible Alert. My senses suggest we're about to be visited by. <laughs> ah, bitch. Neutralizers. You downed our ship. Dishonored us. Now you will fight us! Wait! Bite us! We are all vulnerable beings here! We did not intend to damage your ship. Please, we can help one another in this desperate plight. It is true we are all trapped. Cooperation is survival here. But you are... Outworlders. <laughs> Everyone is an outworld. I like how they just have these mini orgasms. In the middle of them talking. Listen, sister. We don't want to fight you. You're clearly outnumbered. Numbers mean nothing. I think I'm not fear you or your friends. I'm offering my hand. Put her there, bro. Right, I am a dude. I consider conciliation. And you offer the hand of combat? Oh, shit. Combat? No, you don't understand. Ah, uh, yes, I should have warned you. To salamandrians, the hand extended gesture means... That means you're <laughs> boying them. <laughs> <laughs> It's like what he didn't realize is that they only take gaps. I like how they have space versions of their weapons. I do too. But they don't have anything special about them other than the aesthetics. Damn. Never been hit like that before. What are you gonna do about it? Damn. Let me guess, he likes it. What did I say before this season started? <laughs> you gonna catch him a love interest. I knew it. I am a pacifist, but even pacifists have to stop that once in a while. Ooh. It ain't pacifist. He don't seem all that coordinated. There you go. Oh. Our shells handed to us. We gotta keep going. Not much heat left. Oh, Come uh, on. So I got a battery meter on them, them suits. They finna run out. It's always like that. Uh, do you think a turtle can, like, uh, date a new dude? What? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, maybe uh, these salamandrians aren't so bad. Uh, like, the lizard girl's cool. 
You really are running low on oxygen, rat. What are you gonna do? Ask that giant nude out on a date? I mean, it's more realistic than what y'all be trying to go after. Right? You be trying to go after humans. Seriously. He's at least trying to be with another reptile. I hope that's a reptile. Yeah. Let's just get that Aurelia. Gotta try this. Yeah, and yes, none of them heard this man climbing up a mountain. To they get don't to give a damn. It's Raf. <laughs> he does this all the time. He's trying to get to some salamandrian badge, okay? Of course. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh. Yeah, we're in trouble. Oh shit! It's the bone monsters from Power Rangers the movie. Oh no. And by now, those low-grade life forms are surely frozen. Oh! Ta-da! Impressed, right? No, but I respect your tenacity. <laughs> Wait, before you blast me, hold up. Look, we could, we could all work together as a, a team, a unit. Your bravery speaks of a heroic heart, stranger. But you are in our way. Damn. Oh shit! That's not good. I was falling for you, but not like this. Interesting that you chose to shoot the ice, not the stranger. There is no significance to my look. Nope. See, look at you. Yeah, y'all gonna need some milk in a minute. Ice dragons. I love how he has the mace for a tail. Right. Let me guess. Granddad then got frozen. Oh yeah, he had to. He. <laughs> my guy's eyes still moving. You better hurry up before your girl gets turned into a frozen Tostino's pizza roll. There you go. Ah, Adrian! Stranger. Ah, uh, space apples. Don't you- She got that cry! Huh? The ice again. Of course. My name's, uh, Raphael. I am called Igithba. Igithba. You are called Igithba. 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 There's this painting of like the most beautiful woman in art and stuff. Um, so how about if I call you Mona Lisa? Hey. I, I just like love it. how As Mona Lisa is that, supposed to be the most beautiful. Someday our noses will meet. Uh oh. Flesh. <laughs> You think? Sometime, my baby. Is this real cage exposed? Oh. The uh, lizard guy. Razor lizard. No, no, no. GI move. Nah, I got it. Sal Commander. Sal Commander, I love it. Oh. Is that all of them? Probably. I won't offer my hand, but I will offer my friendship. Uh oh. So I'm to I told you they like depths. Huh? That's a sideways depth. You see, his organs are exposed. <laughs> what the fuck? just did. That's how you know they come from the planet Orgasma. Closer there. That satellite. It's made of aurelium. Yes. The aurelium is perfect. It even contains a dark minor regulator. Mm. We gotta hurry. I'm getting short on power and. God oh, damn it. These things reassemble themselves from the ice? They <laughs> burn, man. They probably learned that they don't that. I guess so. Oh shit, isn't it gonna be unstable if it lands? Bro, it's like a damn quick time event. Right? It's like this is the scene from 2014 MT movie. They made a game from this, this show. Like I said, I don't know if you remember me uh, mentioning a video game with these turtles. Really? We got the hover skates. 
All right, this will be your thing. Hey. Hopefully they stay back for a minute. For real. <sighs> ice, ice, baby. We may be too late. Well, oh no. Be the worst scenarios. Oh, oh shit. Better hurry it up, man. Say it for you, Raphael, in my own language. <laughs> oh, <laughs> eh, he gonna cover Michelangelo. For face. real, get a space pod, you two. Look, like, remember that wedding picture we took where they covered Zayden's face? Yeah. Did he give we'll you see a number? Again one day, Raphael. I sure hope so. Shit, he didn't give it a number, he gave it a quadrant. Triceratons are like millions of astro miles ahead. With a little luck, you'll catch up. Ha <laughs> ha, let's do this. Hey. Oh man, that was good, bro. That was really good. I got, you know, I gotta get the credits and see who they got doing Mona Lisa's okay. voice. You know, I gotta do it, y'all. We know you. You know, it's only right if I do it. Can I do it? No. Okay, we got Rob Paulson as usual. Oh yeah, Keith David. Oh, Zelda Williams again. Okay, she's already doing the voice of a uh, Cassie up in um, Rise of the TMNT. Yeah. That's cool. She got some range, man. I wonder if she get that from her pops. You know, her dad is Robin Williams. You know, so that probably explains it all why she's just so good at what she do. But I really love that Ralph finally has his own love interest because it seemed like it was taken for what it seems like ages. They're singing four seasons. Yeah. Four, four of them yeah, things. Yeah, I was like, okay, we got Mikey even that had a love interest. We got Leo lusting after his own sister. We got... Right. Like, yeah. when is Raphael gonna get somebody? For real. It's like, but hey, he got a, like the best thing for him. Somebody that's very similar to him in terms of uh, attitude and, you know, the species. Or, you and know, it didn't take her long to start feeling the same way. She, she was ready to rock like, a rock his world. She was. I'm gonna get ready to <laughs> buy me a damn turtle and a salamander and see if they can become best friends. Shoot. For real. Mona Lisa, really? If I'm not mistaken, they did have like this girl lizard up in um, the 80s one as well that I thought was like, I think she was a love interest of somebody. I'm not sure if it was Raph, but I do remember specifically it was a girl lizard and she had hair. Because, <laughs> you know, they had to put hair on everything just to let you know it was a girl. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate that they just doing all these different things and stuff. They're actually taking tropes that we've seen from stuff like Star Wars and Star Trek. You know, the ship is more like Star Trek, but all the different like landscapes and locations and shit like that, it's more along the lines of Star Wars. So yeah, really loving that, man. I gotta give this episode an S. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an S as well. 
yeah man I'm really loving it uh can't wait to see what other little space voids they're going to be going right on. i was hoping that the lizards were going to be with them for a few more episodes no unfortunately not i was thinking you know i was thinking i was thinking that other uh lizard the one that has a skull on the chest that was with uh spike for uh, a little period of time mm. i thought he was gonna uh, appear and maybe they would bring up him you know mention him like oh we met somebody like you on earth Mm-hmm. But, you know, they didn't really do that. So I was a bit taken back by that. You know, I was like, okay, y'all are familiar with this species somewhat because y'all faced this right. mofo. They must have forgot. Uh, maybe, or maybe they just didn't have time to acknowledge that stuff. But yeah, man, um, that's going to do it for us for this one. Um, We hope you guys enjoyed this reaction because as always, we have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. Really loving season four already, even though these are the first two episodes. So, you know, that's not saying say, much. I feel like so far i mean it's only two episodes i'm still more into season three but we'll see yeah you know this is like a different genre this is like space voyage opera kind of um vibe going on so yeah they are they're continuing to explore these different genres of uh entertainment you know so i ain't i ain't mad at them but yeah guys this is your boy rbg aka the random black gamer my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos and rocka rockers. We ain't seen any reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. TMNT 2012. Peace.